girl gonna be all good no but <laughs> nobody's trying to do that okay this is not that type of game video oh, i don't think y'all are ready for this transformation video that i'm about to show you i don't think y'all ready i really don't mm. So without further ado, I'm gonna just cut right into that before video. I'm gonna let y'all know um, this video was filmed. It's not on my channel anymore. This was in like 2017 when I first wanted to start my YouTube channel. I got my Gymshark leggings and I did a review. <laughs> What's new? And I thought I was thick. So here's the video. And I don't really see much sweat marks in the back. Um, it's pretty sweat resistant. I really, I think I So this is a side-by-side -side comparison, just in case you still cannot see the major difference in my glutes and legs. This goes to show anybody can do it, anything is possible. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little walk down memory lane. It's probably how most of you guys found me here on YouTube. This is going to be part two to my how to gain weight video. I feel like I can get a little bit more knowledge, um, and this video is gonna mainly focus on how to maintain weight gain, which I think is the key to building gains that um, we all want here. We're gonna jump right into it, but first is make sure you like this video. Uh, what else? Subscribe if you haven't already. I know I'm asking a lot, but maybe you can give me a follow over my Instagram, because I do put a fitness stuff on there as well. Do all that and then we could jump right into this video. I mentioned as well, if you didn't know, I just came out with my very own resistance bands and I swear by resistance bands, they are just so good for glute activation and really um, warming up your glutes as well as you can add them in on your main lift. So if you want to check those out, they are going to be in the description box. So, so excited about these. I hope anybody who tries them out or gets a hands on them loves them so much. And yeah, other than that, let's cut over to the video. So for my first tip, which is so, so, so important, and I wish, I wish I would have mentioned this in my first video because I don't know if this one would reach as many people, but it's okay if it doesn't because you are seeing it for a reason. And the reason I wish I would have said it is because I feel like this was my biggest downfall when it came to gaining weight, and that was stop eating the food that you do not enjoy. Okay, sis, put it down. It seems so simple to be like, oh yeah, duh, you're not gonna eat food you don't like, but a lot of healthy options, most of the time, it's not preferred, but you can still find stuff that you enjoy that you're not literally like cringing at the thought of eating. So I'll give you guys an example. I hate oatmeal. Don't know why, I used to love it as a kid. I think because I forced myself to maybe eat it too much or I've been trying to force myself to eat it. I've tried it all different ways. I've tried it watery, thick, with Nutella, with cinnamon, anything you can think, I've tried it out with oatmeal. Do not like oatmeal. So for the longest time, I was trying to get myself to eat that and I would have it every day for breakfast and I would literally cringe at the thought and then I'd sit there and play with it, let it get cold and it was just so hard to get down. It, I just couldn't get past the texture. I didn't like the flavoring. I'm just not an oatmeal type of girl. After a while, it wasn't just oatmeal that I was doing it with. I was doing it with most of my foods because I knew that I needed to get in my calories. I knew that I needed to be eating nutritional, good, whole foods that are gonna nourish my muscles and not just junk but the foods that I was choosing was for convenience and you know I just didn't want to cook I wanted to take less time so oatmeal was really convenient other things like peanut butter really good protein source and it will help you gain weight so I knew I was just like whatever just force yourself to eat it but then after a while I started to develop a really really bad relationship with food like I would still eat don't get me wrong but I would hate the thought of eating and then I would go sometimes and I wouldn't even have an appetite and I'm like oh I go I gotta eat something like I know I need to eat because I haven't reached my calorie goal but I really don't want to eat this and I would sit there it take me forever to get down the smallest portion until I realized that okay maybe I need to stop trying to eat these things just because I know it's good and I know it works and I know it has a lot of calories so what I started doing you know is basically taking that extra time to cook something because I really like a hot meal like a good you know some eggs like an egg sandwich or an egg burrito with you know avocado I love that so I just started doing that basically I would take that extra time to make something that I really enjoy or maybe go out of my way to go get something that I really like instead of trying to force myself to eat something that I didn't like maybe for convenience and things like that because even though yeah oatmeal it only takes water you heat it up and it's done I would sit there for 15 minutes trying to get it down because it was not palatable or good to me at all so in the end I was still taking just as much time if not more than it would have took me to actually cook a meal that I was going to enjoy and then I was down it and get those calories down easy so my number one tip is find food that you enjoy okay find food you enjoy I'm not saying you gotta eat ice cream sandwiches all day we all love a good ice cream sandwich obviously you still have to be mindful that it has to have nutrition 
really pay attention to your protein, but stop trying to force yourself to eat things you don't like. You can find other ways to get in those extra calories. Just stop making yourself eat the food you don't like because I promise you, you're gonna create a really bad relationship with food and then eating is gonna become a chore and it's just going to be not sustainable for you. You're gonna have so many weeks where you're doing good and then you're doing bad because you're just off your game and you're just like, I'm not eating that food, I'm just not into it. So that is like the biggest, biggest tip that I learned and it took me a really, really long time. So yeah, my suggestion is don't try to copy somebody else's diet you know um, exactly unless you love everything that they're doing and you love all those foods cool and you got you a good diet plan but play around with things experiment try a new food and really you know try to go after the food that you enjoy because I promise you your weight gain journey and gain weight is gonna be so much easier when you're eating things that you enjoy like I said again obviously be mindful don't just be out there eating crap because I promise you it won't go to your gains it'll go to your gut girl gonna be all good no but <laughs> Nobody's trying to do that, okay? This is not that type of game video. So yeah, that's number one, okay? I did not mention that in my other video because I just didn't know. I wasn't as far in my waking um, journey to really figure out that that was the problem that was keeping me from maintaining weight because that's the key. Maintaining the weight is key. So this kind of brings me into my next point. Um, you guys know that I track my calories. I said in my last video, the number one comment is which app do you use? I said it in that video, but maybe I said it really fast because I talk really fast. It is My Fitness Pal. That is the app tracker. The app tracker? Who does know the app tracker? The calorie tracker. Girl, I was really loud. That is the calorie tracker that I use, still use to this day. It is so good. So it's completely free. It's definitely worth it. Go ahead and get that because you need to be in the know about your calories so you can really, you know, see that those results. But like I was saying, it leads me into this next point of gradually taking your calories up. So I, again, am speaking from experience and the mistake that I made was I was like, okay, I wanna gain weight. So I just started eating like 800 more calories than my body was used to. And yes, you're gonna put on weight, but you're gonna be putting on weight way too rapidly. More than likely, it's gonna be bad gains and it's not going to be actually, you know, nurturing your muscles. It'll just be excess fat that we don't really want. So if you go and you start upping your calories, you go from one extreme to the other, like 1,000 calories, now you're eating 2,000 calories. First of all, that's just way too extreme for your body. You're gonna feel, you know, like, yucky because your body's not used to intaking that many calories um you're probably not going to get a good really good workout and you're going to be over full um and on top of that you're not going to be able to sustain that you're not going to be able to go in from eating 1000 calories to 2000 calories um you may be able to do it for a couple weeks and then you'll fall off and you're going to go back down and lose all that weight and you'll just begin to get frustrated that happened to me for a very long time and i would just get so so mad and frustrated with myself when i would step on the scale i'm like okay yes you're up like four pounds it's good and then like literally the next couple weeks I step on the scale and I lose it all I'm like okay what is the problem you know I obviously know how to gain weight but I cannot maintain it so like I said going back to point one finding food that you enjoy that way you can eat them daily and it's not a struggle and number two do not jump you know a crazy amount in your calories you're not gonna be able to maintain it or say stain or turn that into a lifestyle and also you just don't want to put your body under that much like shock another thing that I was gonna mention and this is to your discretion I weigh myself a lot. I also have a scale that tells me my muscle percentage and my fat percentage. Probably not 100% accurate, but it kind of just gives me a better ballpark. Because I wanted to mention that don't get discouraged by the scale. Because when you are working out and building muscle, muscle does weigh more than fat. However, muscle burns fat. So you could be maintaining your weight, but your body could definitely be changing. I just kind of wanted to throw that in there that you can't base it off the scale all the time. Yes, I do say weigh yourself frequently if you can because it'll hold you accountable and it'll kind of give you a ballpark um, on if you're just staying the same weight or you're able to go up. But also, I mean, I would suggest if you are more disciplined than I am to um, take a lot of pictures of your body. Also, you know, you can use measuring tapes and things like that. That, because your body, will change before the scale will change sometimes. So I think doing that is really a cool way to kind of track, to keep yourself motivated or to let you know like, hey sis, you need to kick it up. Your body is not changing, you know? Because I think being in the know really helps so, so much. Because a lot of the times we, we can just go to the gym, think we're eating more about the, you know, and then in like a couple months we're looking and we're like, I literally see no changes or I'm seeing no results. And then you're frustrated and you don't know where to start. You don't know what part you're lacking in. You don't know if it's the nutritional part or if it's the gym. You 
feel like you're doing 100 in both. But if you're in the know and you're tracking things, you're gonna be able to tell exactly and pinpoint exactly what you're doing wrong. So yes, it takes a little more extra time. Yes, not everybody has time to take before photos or get measurements, but you do have time to step on the scale and you know, kind of weigh yourself and keep yourself accountable. But like I said, it's kind of a contradiction in a way that you step on the scale because you wanna know if you're going up. But don't put too much weight on the scale, literally. <laughs> don't put too much weight on the scale because your body could definitely be changing and the scale cannot. That's just kind of how it goes. So that's what I would say, just you know, make sure you're just paying attention to your body. Yeah, and another reason why it's a really good idea to just like take pictures and stuff is because you look at yourself every single day. And so you won't see the small little changes happening. However, if you take a photo and then you take another photo, photo the next month then you will definitely be able to see if there's anything that changed because it's going to be a whole month apart it's funny how much like backlash that you get for trying to gain weight this is not unhealthy you know if, if you're going about it in a way that you are building muscle your muscle is going to need that extra protein and those extra calories so it's not like you're just eating a bunch and over consuming for your body you're gonna burn that energy as well and you know you also are like I said you're nourishing your muscles so um, I know I, I on these videos sometimes um, I never respond to negative comments but I just wanted to kind of put a disclaimer like let's be nice whether we're trying to gain weight or lose weight there's all different types of diets out there and goals that people have and as long as it's healthy and you're taking caution while doing it and you know trying to do it in, in a healthy and healthy way where you're not you know taking it to the extreme I see no harm in it at all um, whether somebody wants to grow their glutes or you know what I mean just bulk up it's just like you know losing weight and there is nothing wrong with trying to put on a couple pounds so yeah um, I hope that uh, this video just gave you a little more guidance a little more insight on how you can gain weight in a healthy and enjoyable way never ever sacrifice like your relationship with food whether that's eating more or eating less what's the saying live to eat don't live to eat eat to live Yes, I understand that, but you also don't want to literally hate eating. You know what I mean? It is like vital, it is fuel for our body. There's probably some people viewing this video like, what, you don't enjoy food? Like, um, I didn't for a long time, so that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, I know there's a lot of other people out there like me who tend to not have an appetite a lot of time or hate the thought of having to eat more food. So I really, really hope that this helps you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. I really hope you guys got inspired from that before video. I'm so happy I came across that video um, so I could show you guys, you know, uh, the possibilities if you stick to it and you stay going to the gym. So yeah, just keep doing those hip thrusts, keep those calories up, and you will meet those goals. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!